No, it. A huge chunk of meat falls to the floor. <laughs> Little kids be looking at him, their parents be like, don't worry about him, he's a crackhead. Stay away from the crackhead. <laughs> and, and with that being said, welcome back, gamers, to the Experience Points Podcast. And this is episode 15, September 20th, 2020. And yes, 2020 seems like it's been 15 months, but it's almost over. And with that being said, I am joined by Eric, aka Blackout. Hello, Gopna. <laughs> Kevin, a.k.a. Mr. Final Fantasy. Ahoy, matey. <laughs> and his lovely wife, Kim, a.k.a. Mrs. Awesome. Hello. I'm surrounded <laughs> by dorks. <laughs> <laughs> loving dorks. Loving gaming dorks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On today's episode, we are going to chit-chat about the PS5 crap shoot show that happened after the PS5 showcase, which we will also talk about. Uh, and we're going to end the podcast with a, with a brand new quiz. The quiz returns, and we are very excited about it. Get excited, folks. Because the winner gets to guest star on this very podcast next week. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh lord you guys, it's been a hell of a week. Oh, it's been crazy. So the PS PS5 showcase um dropped and everybody's been waiting for the date, waiting for the price, and we finally 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 got it. Uh is everybody satisfied with the price and the date? Or would you prefer that it be a different date altogether? I'm fine with the date and the price is already what I expected for months. Black woman yeah, kind of like Black Boy Heights. <laughs> okay, how about you, Kim? Um, pretty much the same. You know, we, I kind of in, had it in my mind that it was going to come out in November, and I was like, well, when I budget for $500, it should be enough. Okay. <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> Didn't account for tax, but still. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. That was definitely a lot of tax. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm on the same consensus. I agree. The good pricing, good date. There were no surprises across the board at some Correct. Except yeah. for the pre order. <laughs> <laughs> that they did not talk about. Lord. Um, yeah, I was also happy with, with everything that dropped. Um, I was shocked that they're going to drop it on Thursday and not a Friday, but with it being Friday the 13th, it shows that Sony is superstitious. <laughs> that would have been a thousand times worse. Um, I saw uh, somebody posted on Twitter today that they just got an email that they're not going to get their PlayStation 5 on time. They still got it, but it's not going to show up on the launch day. Well, what do you mean? Who said that? Uh, Damon Hatfield from IGN, actually. He, he, he tweeted that earlier today. So, is he one of the ones that got it, is getting it sent? Yes. Uh, that's why I wanted to do pick up the door, because if it's anything like how my, um, New Galaxy, well, I'm not saying the full name of it, the 20 of Ultra Junk, like, it was supposed to come like that Friday, and I didn't get it until Monday, so I was the, like, the what? The new phone I got, the new, oh. the new <laughs> Galaxy that came out, like, three weeks ago. I thought you were ago. talking about Mario, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> no, I was just making an example, like, it was supposed to, you know, like, it said it was going to be, like, next day shipping, and I thought I'd get it, like, that day, but... And I got it like three days later. And then even in other situations, like when I pre-ordered um, Pokemon Sword from Amazon, and I waited until like 8 o'clock at night to get that bad boy, but I did at least get it on the day. So it's kind of like depending on where you order it from and, you know, how you get it. Because I think if you ordered it off of Amazon, you get it the same day. But like any other place that doesn't actually offer same-day shipping, mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to actually get it that day. So it'll probably be like at least one day later. I got you, which is why I'm taking that Friday off and not that Thursday off, just in case. I hear you. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, something else that that happened this week. They officially announced that they are no longer making any more new 3DS systems. So, I'm sad Better about it. Better go buy it. some while you can, so you I mean, can sell them for like eight thousand dollars <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> Dark anyway, ain't nobody gonna be trying to spend $8,000 for it on eBay. Well, there, there are a lot of collectors out there, a lot of collectors out there that do some crazy stuff, oh, some, some crazy money. 
Oh, I know they're crazy, but that. they do it. I mean, <laughs> I'm not coming on the person's head to read by Dragon Ball GT Final Bout on PlayStation 1 for about $550 on eBay only for a few months later to then have an American re-release and just pissing me off for like ever. Poor oh. baby. Poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Eric. But that was a very, uh, very unfortunate story. So that was... Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, back in the day, Eric got... um got thieved many, many many times because he had some I believe it. jackass friends that came by and did that to him that was really messed up it was not yeah. cool not cool at all uh, <clears throat> so anyway uh yeah i'm just i mean i i got my my special edition um th new 3ds um the one with majora's mask and I was kind of yep. pissed. I was kind of pissed off when I got it because I thought the game was going to be preloaded onto the system, and I had that to, was cheap. I had to go all the way back to GameStop when I came home because I opened it up. I was like, "Yeah, I'm going to play some Majora's Mask." Opened it up, blank as hell. I actually looked inside the the, the freaking place the card goes for the card. I checked the box. I flipped it upside down. I even blew in the box for some reason. Didn't help at all. So I had to go back to the store and get Majora's Mask. I was like, you damn bastards. <laughs> it is odd that they were released a special release without actually having the game with it. But they've been known to do weird stuff like that sometimes. Did did the release of the, the special edition Wii U come with um, uh, Wind Waker? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that one did where it was like a free download or something like that. Mm -hmm. But then again, you might have been able to get it even without. I can't remember how it happened because I think I got that download too, and I did definitely did not get the um. No, I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure it just came with it. Yeah, if you if you got the special edition one, it did definitely had a download for it. Uh, Our Wii U came with uh, New Super Mario Brothers with Luigi Wii U on it. I got a day one one and it came with um Nintendo Land. Oh, I got the one that cost an extra fifty dollars or whatever, but it came with Nintendo Land or a hundred. However much more it cost, the black one. I okay. remember originally they had the um black one. It was like more, but it had more um memory and it had more uh Nintendo Land with it. That game was very underrated. I mean, that game was a hell of a lot of fun. It was. Its only problem was it wasn't online compatible. Yeah, that was his only well, well, it's Nintendo, what do you expect? So, I mean, <laughs> true. <laughs> You're gonna get what you get. <clears throat> uh, well, that being Don't said, we are gonna have a moment of silence or two for the 3DS starting now. Moment's over. Goodbye, 3DS. We love you very much. Make sure to toss in, toss in the music from Link's Awakening. Or not Link's Awakening, but Link to the Past. The church music. Nice. Game over. Oh, that'd be so good. I'll definitely do that. <laughs> um, I hope it's somewhere down the line that they release those games like they did for the Wii U um, on the Switch. Um, even if they have like a Switch 2 down the road, hopefully, hopefully they do that because that'll be fantastic. It's like a virtual console, like they've been like they did for the Super Nintendo and Nintendo. Mm hmm. Definitely be good. Uh, did anybody else pick up Mario 3D All Stars or was that the only one? I think I'm you were the only one. Fence. <sighs> Come on, guys. Okay, here's my theory on this. Well, it's a cash grab, but I'm still not. I'm still not over that yet. I do have to somewhat agree with Kevin on that, but also in my case, I don't spend too damn much money in the last month. I done bought a um deep freezer, a thirteen hundred dollar phone, pre-ordered the BS5, um four hundred dollars to get that freaking air condition fixed. Oh damn! Yeah, so I, I'm gonna hold off a bit. Maybe it'll go on sale somewhere. I know Nintendo games don't go on sale, but maybe it'll go on sale around Black Friday. And plus, Kevin did kind of convince me to be a little on the fence about it too because they did kind of do a bogus where you literally can't play um, Mario Galaxy without. Oh, you so, can't, I'll switch light. Yeah, you can go. go. So, so no, no. So okay. <laughs> so to to go on to this one. I did read a review that says that you can play it on the Switch Lite and you can play it on, on, on handheld mode. I'm talking about Mario Galaxy. You can. But um, you have to use the touch screen to control the little star. Right. And, and so and so it says that um, to, to intuitively do it, 
Is with both hands on controllers, you would have to use the touch screen with your nose. <laughs> what? <laughs> That is a new yeah. functionality of the Switch. But, the the but nose they touch. Did, they, okay. did, um, they did change the button. Um, so I guess the motion control on, on Mario Galaxy, that where he would do his little spin attack, that you'd have to use with the motion. Uh -huh. they, um, they put it onto the Y button on there. So you could do that. But they don't have button mapping or anything. Like, like everything is set in stone. Um, yeah. From what I've seen on the reviews, mm -hmm. um, it's a most Nintendo game. <laughs> I know, right? So, well, you are correct. Took... Sorry, go ahead. Have you played all three of? All, have you played all three versions or, or of the games already, or have you just? I have. I have played all. Only? I have played all three, but uh, I'll let you finish your your little spiel here, and then I'll I'll, I'll put my little interest. interest oh, note on uh, it. One of the guys that was that I, I saw the review on, I guess one of his complaints was that um, they took away the uh, the inverted controls of Mar the way they had Mario uh, Sunshine, right? And they and it's just regular, and it doesn't give you the option to switch it back to inverted if that's what you want. Right, that is true. That is true. Okay, so <clears throat> I played all three. Okay, Mario sixty four feels exactly like Mario sixty four. It just looks a little better. It's still fun to me. I'm still having a great time with the game. Um, after all these years and after all the um, quality of life improvements that I have, that we as gamers have come accustomed to, I kind of had to switch my mindset back to 1996 when those didn't exist. And I just take it for, for that. You know what I'm saying? I, I take it as it is. And, and, I, and I'm still having a great time with the game. Um, it looks fantastic. It looks obviously a lot better than what it did before. Um, the camera is a pain in the ass sometimes, but it hasn't stopped me from doing all those little fancy little tricks that I used to always do back in the day. Now, I did, now I did have to get back used to uh, the controls again, but that took like maybe six minutes. And after that was all said and done, I was having a great time with it. Um, Mario Sunshine... <laughs> <laughs> Mario Sunshine is a fugly ass game. I wish, yeah. I wish they would have like really like changed the graphics on that because that game's ugly. Like I had a hard time playing. Like like I, I was I was laughing because uh it's, like, you know when you start the game and you, you're on the plane with Peach, you get off the plane, and then you have to run to that huge uh, spot that, that, that that's painted on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when he ran, it looked like his arms weren't attached. And he has on, I, I, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but in that game, Mario has on short sleeve shirt, but his overalls, because it's supposed to be summer. But his arms are flailing like a rag doll when he runs. I'm like, why the hell is he running like that? So then I tried to, t <laughs> I tried to turn the camera to the side, and it really didn't work. And then his arms were like behind him and crooked to the back. I'm like, he is transforming to an alien. What is happening? <laughs> um... But but with that being said, the 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 gameplay of the game is is still fun. It's still funny, aside from the just the, the fugly ass characters. Um, the best way to put, to play Galaxy is with the Joy-Con detached and not not hooked up to the Joy-Con grip or w without the Pro Controller because you can still use it as a Wii Mote because you can still point the IR sensor at the screen and collect the star bits like you did back in the day. So, I heard the Pro Controller still has some functionality though, since it has. Yes, the it it control. does it does the exact same thing. Um, you can point the Pro Controller at the screen, the, the, the IR sensor, and you, and you can you can get the star bits. And if you shake it, it, it'll it'll do the spin move. So so that's still there. Um, so far, my favorite out of the three is is still Mario 64. I haven't played very much of Galaxy yet, but I will be soon. You mean once you beat Mario 54? Exactly. But I'm, In I'm 45 I'm, minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thoroughly enjoying the collection so far. Um, Kim, have you played um, any of these games in the series? Um, I just played Mario 64, and I used the to best. play it a lot. The best. And I, I loved it. Hell yeah. It's definitely it's good. It's actually the only game I ever really played extensively on the Nintendo 64. I gotcha. Did you beat it? Uh, no, because I was kind of a, um, a completist. Yeah. Like, I kept on trying to get all the stars and all the things <laughs> I could find, and I never could get it all. 
It just took me I six days to get all 120 stars. Of course it took me that long. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all. Nobody asked I mean, you, Patrice. I just didn't get all, all the stars. Uh, uh, it was gotcha. easy. <laughs> <laughs> Each game is different, bro. Hash it. Also, too, there's circumstance. So there. No. I will say that if it wasn't a full $60 price, uh -huh. I would have probably got it. I, like, gotcha. I, I, I kind of feel like with the amount of effort they put into it, it should have been like a forty dollar game, like 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 they did with the the Trials of Mana game yes. and other remakes they've done. With that, I will one hundred percent agree with that. Yeah, Hell. for sixty dollars, I would have expected like Mario Odyssey reskinning of the games, the way mm -hmm. they did with the original Mario All Stars, where they took um, the original Mario games and reskinned it to uh, match Mario World. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I think that's the, I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't like run out and, like I gotta get this now. I think I know their signification though. It's like twenty dollars each game, sixty dollars all together. But if that's the case, they should give you an option to buy them individually. And and, and that's true. But the thing is that those games aren't twenty bucks a piece on um on the Wii U eShop. I believe Mario sixty four is like ten or fifteen bucks. And then yeah. and then I I know for a fact that um. That Mario Galaxy is twenty bucks, but see, I would buy just sixty-four by itself. I got. You. I would too. But as of right, is, as of right now, if if you if you want to buy Mario Sunshine by itself, it's like three to four hundred dollars. Yeah, because it's never been re-released. It's only on the GameCube. Mm -hmm. And I, and I know that uh, that Mario sixty-four got there got a remake on the three on the three DS, which was how I beat Mario sixty-four originally. Yeah. Um, and that game was good, and and they made it really pretty too. It wasn't like you know super uh, polygonal and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It was smoothed out. So I know Nintendo has it in them to touch things up. <laughs> yeah, and, and also too, I think they should have added a lot more archival things to it, especially especially with the with the Giga leak that happened recently of all that old school stuff from back in the day. That would have been amazing. Yeah. yeah, you know, they're probably going to blame it on Corona. Blame it I was kind of hoping, hoping that after it came out, it would be uh, like announced that Mario Galaxy 2 actually get, did get put in there. Yeah, was, like, I was shocked that it didn't make it out there. Would have made it a little bit more worth it, too. Even without, I would have you know, straight out bought it because I never played Mario Galaxy 2. Galaxy 2 is so good. I love part 2. I can't remember do I actually own it. I think I, I think I do own it on the Wii, which means I'll go play it on my Wii U, and it'd probably be easier to play anyway with the real motion. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, uh, let's check. Let's uh, head over to open discussion. Jones, hit me with some transition music, bruh. <laughs> nice, <laughs> classic. <laughs> Let's chit chat about some PS5 pre order horror stories. Ugh. <laughs> My god. Let's go. They like to give people heart attacks. Let's go, <laughs> let's go ahead and start with my own. Uh, yeah, I was happy as hell the night, night one because I thought I got the damn thing and then I was. Well, actually, that's not true. At, uh, me and Eric scoured the internet for like a good three hours. Three and a half hours, uh, just, just refreshing sites, refreshing um, <laughs> Target and Best Buy, and and we went back and forth so many times on the on the GameStop website because they had those bundles. There was one bundle that was a PS5, another controller, two games, and um, a year subscription to PlayStation Plus for se for basically seven hundred and and thirty bucks. Seven fifty, I think. Seven fifty, whatever. So, me and Erica was like, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it together. <laughs> 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 and then we went to go push uh, checkout, and it was gone. It was gone. That was, that was the only way we were going to get one that night. But then um, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I just happened to wake up to go pee. And I was like, I'm just going to check my phone. So, I went on to Best Buy because I already had it there. And I hit refresh, and that huge yellow sign was like... Pre-order now. I was like, okay, am I dreaming? I actually punched myself to see if I was awake. <laughs> and I pushed that button, and it went through quickly. And I was like, holy crap. 
So, at 4 in the morning, no, no, at 5 in the morning, I got a message on my phone, I don't know where, that says, we cannot process your order. I'm sorry, I was, I was like, I'm sorry, what? What, what? So then, an hour and a half later, I get a, I get a call from the freaking credit card fraud uh, services, and I call them back, and they were like, uh, your, your account has been frozen because you have never tried to spend this much before. And I was like, uh, you just messed up my freaking pre-order for my PlayStation 5. And it was like, oh, I'm sorry about that. I was like, well, you better be sorry about that, you bastard. <laughs> and, and then they had the nerve to ask me if, if, if I was being made to make this pur purchase against my will. I said, what, really? You, you, you acted like somebody had a gun to my head and was like, you better order that PS5. That's exactly what they were. I didn't mean to be withheld from me against my will. And, and I told him, I was like, it's the exact opposite. You're messing me up here. <laughs> so that that day at work, that, I, and, and this all happened from 3 o'clock in the morning to, to 7 in the morning. I'm already having a bad day. And then at work, because I'm a therapist, I'm dealing with, with, with the elderly all day. Every single patient I had shit themselves. Oh! Every, every single patient. I'm like, this is literally a shitty day. <laughs> <laughs> so I was talking to a friend of mine, and I was like, this is not going to be a good day unless I end this day with a piece of chocolate cake and a PS5. At 4 o'clock, my mom rolls up with a big-ass piece of triple chocolate cake. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and then a few hours later, I actually got to order my PS5. So it, it worked out in the end. <laughs> Do you like cake? <laughs> I love cake. Do you like uh, my ass? <laughs> it was that. <laughs> Would you like to eat cake off my ass? What kind of cake? <laughs> <laughs> well, Rusty... <laughs> Looks ah. like we're gonna eat out of another jam. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I I know Kim. I know that you guys get, got it fairly easy. Yeah. No, no, no. My story first. My story first, <laughs> because mine kind of goes off of what yours is. Because you oh. know, we rolled together for a lot of this one. Yes, so, <laughs> oh, it it'll lead in right off the bat, <laughs> and it'll lead in real good. Hey, it was still struggling. <laughs> I didn't succeed at the beginning because, as I said, so you know, we were watching the um the PlayStation event, and then you know, it was like, okay, yeah, we're taking, okay, they're gonna, they didn't say nothing about with the pre-order, so you know, we're just going about on our lolly little business. I'm riding on my exercise bike. All of a sudden, I get this, uh, I I check the um messages, and they're talking about the pre-orders already. I'm like, what? Wait, what? So then, I'm, <laughs> so then, me and Cyrus on the phone. We're like, oh crap! So now we're just trying to figure out where to go. First, he's calling like all the game stops, and he's like telling me how all the key calls the first. You didn't even tell the kids part of your story. Yeah, I know. Right? When, he, when he called game stop, and the, the lady was like, "We're sorry." I was like, "I'm sorry." That chick was literally in tears when she answered the phone. I was like, "Oh, poor baby." She <laughs> She answered the phone and she was like, Welcome to the GameStop. We don't have any more pre orders. I'm so sorry. I was like, It's okay, sweetheart. Relax. And then she told me that it was only 18, you know, overall. I was like, Holy crap, only 18 for that one store? So I called several more and it was pretty much the same situation. It was 11, 13, and 14, and they were all gone within like, within like minutes. And then the last two I called, they, they, they didn't even answer the phone because they was like, I'm not going to answer the phone because I know you guys just want PS5s. So. <laughs> yeah, it was busy. One had a special busy thing because I was on the phone with him while he was doing that. I was like, oh, it just had a special sound. I ain't never heard that sound before. It was a different sound. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyways, after that, you know, like that's when we, um, I started checking like Target and other like um, websites. It's like at one point. We thought we were getting it from Target at like seven o'clock because we had um like went to it. Oh, so the, mad um, about they that. had the PS5 there. We put it in our cart and it's like you know we're checking it out. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden it's like it got this weird error. And then all of a sudden it's just doing some shenanigans. It's like nope, you ain't getting this, bastards. And then I had it's just it in gone. cart for Target. I had it in cart for Target and it was up all the way up to the checkout for yeah the payment. And then it was like nope. Never mind. Just <laughs> yep. Exactly. And then it's like, I guess people, I don't even know, they might not have even been doing it right then, because a lot of people were saying that they were getting canceled, even though they got through. So, you know, so then we're, mm -hmm. we're checking uh, GameStop, and, you know, he told you about the bundles. So it's like, I was trying, like, 
the the GameStop was so bad it was literally crashed the whole like site like you go to it it had like a sad face or something on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to um so like you Cyrus was saying we were trying to um get that bundle which was like really I had to debate about that one at first but then it's like I couldn't even log in to put like it wouldn't let me log in like I kept on pressing the account but it's like huh? <laughs> so that's why every time I press, like, Arr? what do you need? Arr? So like ten minutes later, I finally get my um, I get signed in and everything. So we go to the um, purchase it, and as he says, right when we're finally gonna do it, it mm-hmm. sold out. Yep. And trust me, I was like, damn. Like <laughs> same thing I said. And then th- th- there was another bundle because it was like three or four bundles together. The cheapest one was like six thirty, and the highest one was like eight fifty or eight seventy five or something like that. Something stupid, yeah. And, and after taxes, I nothing was gonna be a thousand dollars after taxes. It was uh-huh. insane. I was like, what yeah. the hell? Who was buying these? And then, I, and then, and then, I, I just went to check it out, and then, th- then that was gone. So there was some desperate people out there. Yeah, I, I would even have bought that last. The last bundle was like that hundred dollar headset that doesn't even look like it's all that special. Yeah, it had like you're talking the, about the one that's the PlayStation style, the PS5 style he- headset. Yeah, yep. yep. Well, that's their that's their typical price for their headsets that they bring out with every generation, though. And yeah, they're yeah, usually they built are... for the system. Yeah, well, I had the damn one for PS4, and that thing didn't last too long. Well, it technically still really? works, but <laughs> the, plastic, that's just it. the plastic is very cheap, and I have it like kind of get... taped up. A Time. Was it the PS3 one or the PS4 one? Well, it was the PS3 slash PS4 one. It was made for PS4, but I'm pretty sure they had the exact same model for PS3. Mine's still running strong. But I had the white version. But like, well, you know, I might have Mine had was had... Uncharted Blue. Nice. I might have had it. I might have had it sitting on the floor, and I might have rolled over it a little what? bit. Not that much. You bugger. can't blame the headset on that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did. with you. <laughs> so, anyways, back I can to just the stop working story. one day after I ran it over with no, my it computer still chair. Works, it's just, it just doesn't collapse like it used to. It has a lot of tape on it now. <laughs> I bet it does. That, that, that is not. That is not the craftsmanship of Sony. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I remember, no, because I used to have, it had that bag and everything it came in with, and that thing was in the bag and it somehow cracked still. You're so funny. Stomp on it a couple uh, times. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so anyway, so you know, we're some people, after that, so you know, we, we finally gave up for like, like around 10 o'clock, we're like, yeah, whatever, but like, you know, we were still kind of looking out for like, every now and then I go to Amazon, because okay, here's the thing, Amazon didn't even have the listing for it at first, like, right, but I was exactly. like, it might show up around 11 or 12, so like, literally, I check Amazon at like 11 o'clock and I see the list and it says it's already unavailable. I'm like, what? This yep. thing literally wasn't even here and yep. now it's unavailable. And then, I noticed that too. And then it, it was crazy because the, the next day when, when I was trying at first, um, I got a call from Eric around 6 and he was like, yo, they're up. And so and he, he, he said they're up at 9. So I went, I was already on the site checking myself. It was 8.58, I remember this was 8.58. And then 8.59, and then 8.59, I push refresh. And then right when I push refresh, it switched over to nine o'clock, and then the site would not load for a minute and a half. After a minute and a half, it loaded up and they were gone. That's all it takes. It's like, holy yeah, it was, shit. It was so terrible. Okay, so then moving on even further. So finally, like, you know, I had pretty much given up after around like 12.30 or one. Like, I was like, okay, this doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. So I was playing a ranked battle in Pokemon. So as soon as the battle started, Started off turn one. I got a call from Cyrus. It's like 2 a.m. for me. Three. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, for me. So yeah. he's talking about the best. I was like, wait, what? Like, okay, bye. So pretty much, <laughs> I lost that Pokemon battle because I just ignored it. <laughs> Although the ironic part of it is that while all of this was happening, I didn't actually lose. I was still had two Pokemon like 15 minutes later because like the auto attacks, I don't know what, my uh, Toka Dekamaru was just nuzzling this entire team. It was hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> so, but yeah, so you know, I, I'm frantically trying to like, oh crap, oh crap, I don't want to miss I'm like, I got deep, deep, deep breathing. And so like, finally I got the, um, you know, I got everything filled out and I like, it approved. And so I was like, at, right after that, I was like, okay, now I got to get Kevin up. So I, I was still logged on to Final Fantasy. So I first tried to talk to him on the free company. He was asleep. So then I'm like, I uh, sent him a couple of tails. And I was like, nah, I better call this dude. So I started blasting his phone. I probably called him like 20 times. Then I'm like, man, 13. I got to. 
oh, okay, there you go. And then I switched down <laughs> over to um, Messenger because that Messenger sound is probably louder than the phone um, ringer. So I'm like, <laughs> so finally he got up. And so I'm like, okay, cool. You hurry up and go down. But then as soc as he like responded, I noticed he DC'd on the game. Hey, and then why you I'll, my story? Okay, I'll, okay, I'll just, okay, fine. <laughs> and now I will lead it on up to Kevin's star story. So they said, like, my thought was the 26th because they said they weren't going to just drop the pre-order. Right. And I guess, but Sony didn't put like a block on on pre-orders mm. from like the stores. So I'm pretty sure uh, Microsoft is part of one thing they did right. Is mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they have like a street date block in the systems. Um. So we we heard, oh yeah. GameStop is starting doing pre-orders. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I, so I call I called GameStop up. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure you're getting plenty of phone calls about this, but uh, what what's your uh, what's your pre-orders looking like? He's like, they're it's uh very limited, and I was like, and one per household. But he's like, yeah, one per household. No, like, uh huh. It's like, well, I got to get two of them because I got a wife that wants one, and she's like, we'll just go in separately. There you go. And I'm like, okay. Um, but, so, I was like, okay, there, we're, I'm not going to drive 40 minutes to GameStop. 40 minutes? So we're like, GameStop is 40 yeah, minutes we, away? We live, we live about 40 minutes away from a GameStop. Holy crap. Um, we're living in a farming town. <laughs> I gotcha. And so, we're, we went to, we went to Walmart. We're like, well, if, if GameStop's jumping the gun, then maybe all the retailers are doing it. Mm -hmm. And, and we're at Walmart, um. They know nothing about PS5 being pre-ordered. <laughs> like Walmart. And, exactly and so, Walmart. poor baby. And, and so, like, I look on Target, and I was like, okay, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm clicking it, and it's letting me get in there. I'm like, sweet. And then it's like, no, never mind. We're just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so, I think it was about like seven, seven thirty when we were at Walmart. It was it was a pretty late night. Uh, we ended up going over to. We ended up coming home. It was probably around seven thirty, eight o'clock or so. I'm I'm on the Best Buy website, and it and it has it on there, and it lets you add it to your cart. Oh yeah. But you 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 click that you click it and it says there's an error, mm -hmm. and it does not do it. And, 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 and like, Kevin and I are both even, doing it simultaneously too. And and, 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 so, and some random times it'd be like, oh, your cart's empty. Yeah. Well, shit, my cart's empty. Yep. But, but if, if, if you refresh it, the cart's, in, the cart's no longer empty. And I'm like, okay. So I pretty much fell asleep clicking this. <laughs> it was like 8.30. I passed out. Oh. And I, I'm sleeping sound. I'm like, whatever. My, my, my friend works at Best Buy. He's like, yeah, don't worry about it. They're, GameStop's stupid. They're they're screwing themselves over because they haven't even been given authorization to uh, to make the, to put the pre-orders out. Now you know how many they're gonna have. Best Buy will probably have plenty. And I'm like, okay. So I'm still trying to click it because I'm not gonna be you know miss it out just because I'm listening to one person. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and so like five hours later, I I'm like. Because I, I fell asleep with my with my Final Fantasy XI 14 on. Uh, my character's in 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 his house, his mansion, just chilling there. And I wake up to Eric's character on the dancer <laughs> class, doing all these moves and stuff, just dancing in front of me, telling me to wait, wake up, wake up. Jumps on his warrior and starts doing moves. And I'm like in all capital letters, I'm like O M G, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, best buy, they got the three orders up. I'm like, That's okay. Funny. So so I'm like half awake. My my screen was still on the Best Buy thing. They had to refresh everything and get it all up again. And I had to go wake up Kim because I wanted to make sure she can get on there. And so I get I'm like sweet checkout in the cart. Oh my god, it's let me check it out. Let me check the shipping. Ship store, sweet. <laughs> Choose payment. Log into PayPal. Sorry, you have no internet connection. Oh. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I look at my phone, and 
even my phone data was out. Like, it was just a complete dead zone for, like, 20 minutes. Just dead zone. Wow. Like, couldn't even, like, couldn't get on my phone, couldn't do nothing. I mean, if I, if I could have at least got on my phone, it would have at least saved my Google information that, that was going on my website. I could have just, you know, on my laptop, and I could have just continued. They're, they're like, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Screw you. Poor I'm baby. like, fuck you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We should also so, add that we so never it, have dead it zones came, in the house either. It, it what? So we never have dead zones at our house either like that. It just happened well, that that one time. That we really needed to have the internet. <laughs> well, the night the night before the night before around the same time there was um, I think uh, Spectrum might have done maintenance or something like that, but it was just our, our actual internet that died. My phone was still good. I was still able to do stuff. Um but yeah, no, nope, it was dead zone. They're like, nope, no PS5 for you at 2.40 in the morning. <laughs> and, oh, poor baby. And, and, so, and so it came back just in time for me to get on there. And it's like, yeah, sure, you could check out, but it sold out. <laughs> Happened too damn Why fast, too. So, so yeah, that, that was fun. I, and then I proceeded to go back to bed, and then, and then I could not sleep between... The frustration of that, <laughs> and the cats just decided to get hairs up their asses and just mess around <laughs> constantly. And I was like, I am not in the mood for these cats right now. Cats always have hair up their ass. Yeah, but it's a little <laughs> bit easier if I'm able to sleep and I don't hear them, and I am not frustrated from Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kim, let's hear your side of the story, girl. Well, that means... Kevin started it off pretty good, um, but after that, like the next day, just I've been pretty much just like stalking my phone, <laughs> just like looking online, seeing what people are saying, mm -hmm. seeing what PlayStation's saying, and then all of a sudden, I think it was like around 2.50 or something like that in the afternoon, okay. I stumbled across something that said that Walmart was going to be doing it at... 1 p.m. Pacific time. And I was like, holy shit, that's 10 minutes from now. <laughs> and I think Kevin was in the shower. And I was like, they're going to do it. Like, we're going to do it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> wash your ass and get out. Hurry. <laughs> Pretty much. Man, you better wash your ass later. <laughs> I was not in the shower. I was well, in the living room. Um, Which is what he calls the shower. <laughs> we ended up trying and then failing it because it would not process. Mm -hmm. And they'd run out, and it says, "Oh, we'll be back shortly. Just yes. keep your eyes open, or whatever." Same thing happened to me. Forty-five minutes. This wow. Been, this, whole, this whole cycle was going on for forty-five minutes until we finally got lucky. Wow. Okay, I would like to add one thing. That was not at like. I got my first. That was at like seven forty-five. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because that's when Cyrus got here too, and that's when I was there too. You know, we were all there. It was like around six forty-five or seven forty-five. Well, I know that I got mine up, and she was in the process of getting hers. I, I, didn't, I wasn't aware that uh, she was being allowed to because I was she was in a separate room, mm -hmm. and I I got a notification even though I'd already uh, got my pre-order through. Um, the notifications was still on, and it said, "Hey, it's available." I was like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna check it out." And it's funny because. For, for a system that was only supposed to get sold to one per house, it sure was about to let me pay for a whole another one on a separate <laughs> order. Because <laughs> I was about to pre-order another one for her in case she couldn't get it. But then she's like, she got it. And I'm like, sweet, we can cancel it. That bad boy would got canceled anyway. Though, though I, did, I did tell her, I did tell her that I was tempted to get in that second pre-order and not, not to scalp it, but... To, to sell it just on eBay to scalp at, it. at cost at cost <laughs> as like a fuck you to all those scalpers <laughs> that's too much work man like you, you ain't gotta deal with all the shipping and stuff no I, like I said if I would have gotten the second one it would have purely been for like a friend of somebody who was unable to get a pre-order I was just Aww. like okay I'll sell it to you Eric, yeah, I ain't giving it to them you're gonna have to Aww. buy it but then you get well, what I'm saying well obviously if a friend of mine was like I couldn't get one that would trump you know tell them you know doing a, a screw you sale on eBay <laughs> but alas I did not do that 
I was, it just wasn't. It's yeah, like there's I, no point in buying two of them. Too much <laughs> effort to do it, all it was, that. It was yeah. a little bit scary for me because um, when I finally got it, <clears throat> I clicked it, and you know it said it went through. No, at first it said yeah. At first it said it went through. I was like yes, and then I clicked refresh, and it was like your card's empty. And I checked the order, and the order was empty. And I was like, "What the hell?" And then I click refresh one more time, and then it, it magically went to the the page that said, "You know, thank you for your order." I was like, "What the hell is going on?" It's, it's Walmart. <laughs> well, so I, I knew mine went. I knew mine went through because I got the the uh, email from PayPal saying, "Hey, this 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 qualifies for your uh, special financing of no payments for five for six months." Nice, like. And that's how I know it's a success. <laughs> Have any of you been charged yet, by the way? Because I know mine is still yeah, mine, my payment mine is, is still pending. Mine is still on this. Mine is already on there on PayPal. Like, oh, of course, the, my credit, credit card, card is kind of slow. I, I, haven't looked at the, I haven't looked at the card that she put hers on yet. So well, that was like another mine. thing I was a little nervous about. If we pre both of us pre-ordered on the same method, yeah. then I'm worried that that might trigger a fraud alert. Like, it might get suspicious spending $1,100. Yeah, that probably would. Yeah. So it's just kind of like, mm, no, I'll, I'll do mine separate just to not give it any reason to panic. Do you know very well that PayPal doesn't call for fraud. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know that all too well. Did no, somebody like, have a gun money? to your head? Did somebody make you order this PlayStation 5? <laughs> I, I can't believe that PlayStation part. PlayStation 5 get some gaming in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> See, I've had, I've had like the fraud people call, but they've never said it. <laughs> yeah. Worth yeah, you. Like <laughs> mine, mine has always been like an email, like uh, the Costco card. They'll send it, and then we'll we'll get like, I'll get like an email uh, saying, hey, this looks suspicious. Is this you? And all you do is click something. You ain't got to call. They don't. They, they might, you know, reject the first, you know, the charge or whatever. But well, they, they actually called me and they called my wife, and I was like, oh lord. So we had, so we had to straighten up two things. I was like you dirty bastards. <clears throat> uh, with that being said, those are our PlayStation Five horror pre-order horror stories, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more out there because I have have heard of many, many more that were worse than ours. Um, but with that, we're going to move on to this week in gaming history. Hit it, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to do the, 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 the freaking lead up and everything. <laughs> yeah, I should have, but I was just excited. <laughs> you got lazy like Nintendo. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, that's a burn on Nintendo, Nintendo more than a burn. Nintendo burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, this week in gaming history, we have a lot of gems. And Kim, you came on the perfect week because there are a lot of games that you are going to love, girl. Must be Pokemon. You guys head over and check your phones for the picture. Uh, and on this day, September 13th, 12 years ago in Japan, 2008, released Pokemon Platinum for the DS. Call off the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have experience with Pokemon Platinum, yeah? Yes. Actually, I, I haven't played I Platinum. Through. I did a like a quick run through for uh, Pokedex completion purposes, but I didn't do a lot of it. I, I played the I played the for originals of that uh, gen that that series season Is, generation. Isn't that Ruby and Sapphire? Um, yeah. Or yeah, I played so, Sapphire. Uh, Kim, have you have you played Platinum? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I think I have it on the shelf. I can't remember. Nice. Yeah, I don't yeah it was your copy that I played. I've seen it <laughs> yeah. at your house, I think. <laughs> nice. Um, did you beat it? Did you get all the Pokemon in the game? Or oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I did. A, um, got the National Rex completed, but I know I beat the game and spent some time on it. Not very many games I went all the way and got the whole National Dex completed. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that except in Gen 1 and Gen 8, to be yeah, honest. That, that, that was uh, Generation 4, uh, Diamond and Pearl, actually. Ah, well, I played Diamond. Because Emerald was uh, Ruby Sapphire. But, uh, no, the, this one, it was actually really cool because, um, as you all know, they, or some might know, the third <laughs> game... The third game was always a combination of the first two, 
Mm -hmm. Um, for for those from, from gens like uh, two, three, and four, they did they, they did that. Um, and one. It was always no, not really. I do not count Pokemon Yellow as a combination of red and blue. It kind of is. I mean, you can no, get all three starters anyway. And it had Team stop Rocket, <laughs> Team stop Rocket it. from the anime. <laughs> That's the uh, game. Fight, 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 fight. Meow. So, so in uh, in Gold and Silver. They did crystal, and um, in that in crystal, they focused around uh, Suicune. Suicune, and they, and they gave they they added like extra uh, missions and stuff that revolved around Suicune and capturing Suicune. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire, they did Emerald, which revolved around uh, Rayquaza. And so this, this one, uh, Platinum, revolved around Giratina, and at the end. <laughs> At the end of um, of that game, you actually went into like the, the distortion world or the distortion world and stuff. AKA and it, hell. Uh, <laughs> so basically, it was the main game with extra stuff. Basically, what they did with this whole this new generation with the DLCs, because like black uh, when black and white came out, they kind of went away from that. Uh, pattern that they were doing, uh -huh. and I actually did a full-on sequel, Black 2 and White 2, that takes place after the original three games, and you actually play a different character, has a wholly, totally different storyline. Um, so yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the first uh, Pokemon game I played was, um, was, was that Eric's, uh... Ultra Sun. Ultra well, Sun. that's the first one you truly played because you did get one of the other ones, but you didn't play it too long. Yeah, I played it for a day and I took it back. I was like, I don't think. <laughs> um, so I, I, I don't have any experience with the with the past games, but um, part of me wishes I would have gotten to them back in the day. But it's okay. It's, it's okay. never too late. <laughs> uh, with, with 800 plus Pokemon, it is too late. <laughs> no, it's not because look, you don't you don't actually have to complete the national decks every game. Because with Pokemon Home, you just kind of combine, you know, all of your games and make your national decks in the actual um, Pokemon Home instead of worrying about it making a living deck in every single game unless there's some particular reason you want to. Well, right? even then, it's like the older games are your Pokemon back then. So yeah. it's like pressure. I guess. Exactly, that too. Uh, plus, you know, Diamond and Pearl, hopefully, I'm still hoping for a Diamond and Pearl remake. I know a lot of people are sketchy about if it'll be a Let's Go Johto or Let's Go Sinnoh, but I'm still hoping for the purebred Diamond and Pearl remake. Well, if that that'll happens, be real fun to play. If that happens, I'll definitely play it then, because I'm, I'm not a fan of going back to games like that. It just pissed me off. Um, True, because the quality been... of life is kind <laughs> yes. of bad on those older games. Just like Mario. There have been some said. leaks. <laughs> there have been some leaks, though, that uh, Di the Diamond of Pearl isn't going to be a remake, but a revisit to that region. There's leaks everywhere. Oh. The, yeah, I know. I'm just saying that like one of the leaks is like one version's gonna have Dynamax and the other version's gonna have Mega. Mega well, yeah, I've heard that. Well, well time, a lot of that's rumors too, though. But we'll, see. well, time will tell if those rumors come true. But we're gonna move on here. And September 14th, 19 years ago, 2001, the Nintendo GameCube was released. Yes. Nice. It sure was. What are you guys' favorite games on the GameCube? Luigi's Mansion. Kevin? Twilight Princess. Kim? Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Twilight Princess. Oh, wait, but I got it on Wii, so never mind. The Luigi's Mansion. Kim, how about you, girl? I won't. Tell me. Um, I think mine was Harvest Moon, actually. Ain't nothing wrong with I that. I always heard Harvest Moon were great games, and uh, I, I, I want to play like a legit Harvest Moon game, but they have all these bootleg spin-offs on the Switch, and I don't like them. Season. But but there's one coming out called uh, Rune Factory 5, and it's like a mix of Harvest Moon with uh, with fighting RPG mechanics, and that looks yep. really good. And I really want to play that. So I have no idea. They have Rune this, Factory. I have no idea four. when it's coming out. And, and I, I did check out a video of four, but it just looks it, it doesn't look fun to me. But five looks fun. So whenever five comes out for the Switch, I will definitely get that, and then maybe I can have a little slice of Harvest Moon. Now oh, another game. Is here, the thing, the thing is, is, yes, sir. Um, 
as far as Harvest Moon goes, mm -hmm. uh, the original team that made Harvest Moon left Natsume, mm -hmm. but Natsume owns the title, so all the janky Harvest Moon games you've been seeing coming out is because Natsume don't know how to do Harvest Moon. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. story, story of Seasons. Story of Seasons is the spiritual successor to Harvest Moon. It's made by the Harvest Moon group. Okay. And um, the one that just came out, Story of the Season, Friends of Mineral Town, mm -hmm. is basically a remake of Harvest Moon Min Mineral Town. Okay. Friends of Mineral Town. I just might check <laughs> that out. Just might check it out. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite games for the GameCube uh, is Beautiful Joe. That was a good one. That game, that was a great game. The story was funny as hell. The characters were fantastic. The game was hard as hell. It was basically Bloodborne before Bloodborne was <laughs> I came kicked your ass and did not apologize for it. You legit had to have skill in that game to get through. But it was uh, it was definitely a good time. Hench in the go-go, baby! Hench in the go-go, baby. Uh, moving on, September 15th, 15 years ago, 2005, uh... Release Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Yes. Never played them, they but they just seem so amazing. For the DS. <laughs> that game was just legit anime court. That's all it is. That's all it is. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I love anime. Have, have either of you two played uh, any of the Phoenix Wright games at all? I haven't. No. I got you. That's the end of that conversation. Um, <laughs> I believe it's Phoenix right on um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yes. I know they got an anime. He's actually a lot of fun to play on, on Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, yeah, he But is. They, they just bought out, I think, uh, a version of it for the Switch. Um, I don't know if it's a re-release or a remake or remaster or whatever. But um, it's definitely in the Switch. Uh, it's I think it's a remaster or something like that. Because I think it also came out on PlayStation 4. I Didn't gotcha. Phoenix Wright like end up dying, and they gave the series over to, or not? You know, they killed off the character and gave, and he had like a, a an assistant that became, that took over. Or I, something. Have, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know the lore of Phoenix Wright. <laughs> but I know the chick in the second spot looks hot, though. But I'm pretty sure somebody said <laughs> objection in there, and then so anyway, <laughs> 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 objection. Uh, next up. Uh, September 16th, uh, 16 years ago in 2004, released, bam, Pokemon Emerald. In Another Japan. Pokemon game! <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> thanks, Kermit. Easy <laughs> <laughs> um, being Emerald. So, so do I even have to ask if you guys played this or not? I actually didn't play this. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not play most of the side games back then because. That was kind of when I was in my kind of falling off. Cause I, after like G2, I kind of start, started falling off. Like I played all the games, but I never really got to the third game of them. And then like I barely even got through time. And then I was just done until like Black 2 came out. But then I played Black 1. But and actually, yeah, I'm sorry. I do apologize. I said the DS, but it came out for the Game Boy Advance. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah. We, oh, I think we have Emerald, but it, I, I believe it was Kim's copy. I don't remember if I ever owned Emerald, okay. but I think Kim, for uh, a couple of those generations, ended up getting like the third, the, the, the additional game instead of the main game, uh -huh. because it had everything in there. I believe, is that correct, Kim? Yeah, I think this is sounds about right. I gotcha. Now, if, if they remade these games, I would definitely, definitely well, check out. I'm sorry? They did. Uh, uh, Alpha Omega and Alpha Ruby Sapphire from the 3DS. That's the one uh, I returned after a day. Oh yeah. yeah, that's that's the remake of Ruby Sapphire. And oh my god, it, it was so extra bad. Extra stuff in there to um to compensate to have it has some flavors of emerald in there as well. Mm, that flavors. game wasn't that bad though. I mean, <laughs> that game that game was actually really fun. Um, and it had good quality of life. Was, it had a lot of cool aspects um, they added there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have this, after you get Great Plaza, they have like this bonus mission that you can uh, fly into space and get a mythical Pokemon that you can normally not get except uh, in normal gameplay. But it, they, they let it happen on this one. Yeah, that's, that's, nice. the one, that's also the one where they uh, added uh, isometric flying 
because you can fly on Latios and Latios in their mega forms in that one, and you can go to different islands and, and go through different, like, uh, I think they're like war poles or something. Not, nah, well, they had something like that, but the war poles are the ultra wormholes and sun and moon, but no, no. yeah. The, you the, could the, do the one, something similar to that in that game. The, I didn't one, the one thing that I want, I want a Breath of the Wild style Pokemon game where you can walk around, you can see them in their habitat, you can actually walk up to them and start fighting them legitly, not turn-based battle, but like legit fight a Bulbasaur, and he vine whips you in the ass, and it actually well, hurts. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I want. I want a, a breath. Want, like open world. I want a Breath of the Wild Pokemon game. That'll that be an MMO. Be, if they uh, ever do that, amazing. it'll be MMO. That would be amazing. It'll be so freaking good. And then actually have the scale of each Pokemon to size. That would be so cool. It, 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 the the thing that I envision, you're running around and you hear a squish and you stepped on a Caterpie. That's, that's wow. what I'm talking about. Time out. That's what I'm <laughs> 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 what the hell was that squish? Better be. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's never gonna happen in a Nintendo game. <laughs> he ain't even gonna try to string shot you. He's just gonna let you squish on him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> poison sting. They got that oh, They can't do poison sting. But yeah, they're, they're gonna do some kind of fighting. <laughs> Harden. Oh, that's not even. Oh, uh, you can learn it if you don't evolve. I think. Um, no. Oh, not even if you, you don't, don't evolve. Is metapod. Only as metapod. Oh, well then you... Yeah, I can let you squish a can of free! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, September 16th, 18 years ago, 2002, which is insane to me, uh, released one of my absolute favorite games of all time, and that is Kingdom Hearts. For the PlayStation 2. Oh, I remember the days when they said they're all of the Kingdom Hearts games are going to be on PlayStation 2. <laughs> <laughs> remember when we thought we were going to get PlayStation, I mean, Kingdom Hearts 3 in the next 10 years after yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. You this know, game... it's funny, I still have not even started Kingdom Hearts 3. I own it, but I have not started it. Just do it and play it and get through it and then just have that experience. I mean, it, it, it was far from a perfect game. There was a lot of things that irritated the hell out of me about the game, but, you know, it is a part of the story, it's a part of the lore, so just go ahead and get through it. Well, um, yeah, it's just I wanted to go through all the side games that came on, like, the Vita and stuff like that. Or not the Vita, but the PSP. Because yep, I, yeah. I got the collector, the collection uh, games Don't we that all? has all the games on there, and I was mm -hmm. going to go through them all again. And I actually made it through Birth by Sleep. Birth by Sleep is so good. a good one. Oh my but god, that's so good. With this particular game, well, I guess if you play through all the side games, it might help explain some of the stuff that happens in this no, game. But beyond that, more questions. Love Breath by Sleep. <laughs> Love Breath by Sleep. But, but, but beyond that, Kingdom Hearts 3 is basically one of those games you just need to beat so you'll have um, yeah. coffee table talk. Or exactly. a water cooler talk because, yeah. That's all, that's all I really can even say about it. I, I'll finish the combat was fun. Well, as far as part one goes, I was just, um, you know, I, I grew up with Disney characters and, and loving anime and, and Japanese culture and stuff like that. And obviously, you know, we all know it was a fusion of that. And just I had a great time visiting those worlds for the first time and interacting with the characters. And um, part two, personally, is still my all time favorite. Um, a lot of people give it shit for the stuff that it did, you know, adding all the extra um, quick time events and stuff like that, but that, that just made the game more awesome to me. Um, part two made me cry. I, I remember, cry. I remember <laughs> playing part one at, at a really, at a really bad time in my life, so it was, again, one of those games that came at the perfect time that kept me busy um, during, you know, that rough time in my life. Um, I... That, Sorry. That's always a good thing. Uh, Kim, have you have you played King Mars? Uh, the series? I tried. I tried um, back. I think it was that first one actually. Mm -hmm. um, back when my daughter was still a tiny little baby. Mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't get into it. I just I don't know the animation, the, the cartoony aspect to it. I just didn't really care for. I so you. I just I had a really hard time like sticking with it and getting into it. That's understandable. I mean, it, it it was a really 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 goofy game. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, don't, you ignore that. Ignore that. that I saw. Cool. I saw my friend. My friend played it the first one. Uh, mm -hmm. She had it, and I was watching her play it. And I saw Titus Waka 
and uh, mm -hmm. was it selfie? Yeah. And, and I saw I saw them. I'm like, what the hell did they do to these characters? <laughs> I'm like, no, no. no. I love the little then, chibi look. It was so I'm cute. I'm definitely gonna say, how are like, they gonna make some of them chibi and some of them legit? <laughs> I know. That right. was my <laughs> only question. <laughs> well, because they weren't they weren't chibi. They were kids. Um, but then like they were chibi kids. Was, I think it was like back in like 2008 or 2009. Uh, the, this girl I was dating was like super into it, mm -hmm. and uh, she was like, "You need to play them." I'm like, okay, fine, I'll play them. So I played them, and I was like, okay, okay, it's a good, it's a good game. <laughs> is, is anybody so, forcing you to do this? Or do they have a gun to your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys, so I got to cut this short, but we got to move on. Uh, September 17th, uh, seven years ago, in 2013, released for the PS3, Grand Theft Auto V. Okay, I'm just going to say everybody's played Grand Theft Auto V in one way or another. Well, I, I have I have a really, really funny story about this, because after, after it... You know, was on the PlayStation 3. They moved to, to PS4. Um, I had just moved into my apartment, and um, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just moved into this apartment with my wife, and it was New Year's, and 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 she had gotten sick, and she wasn't feeling well. So at first we had went out to go celebrate New Year's, but then she got sick, so we came home. So I didn't have anything to do. So me and my brother hopped on PS4. We started playing. Um, oh, Grand, that one. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 5. So him and I were just driving around. Um, and then we got on the bridge, and I was looking around for something to do, and he pulls out, accidentally, a bazooka, and blows up, <laughs> like, seven cars. The cops start coming, in droves, helicopters, SWAT teams, they killed me immediately. I freaking respawn, um... Underneath the bridge, I look up. He's still up there. He's screaming. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I'm like, jump off the bridge. So I'm expecting him to get in his car and drive off the bridge. I look up. I see his avatar falling <laughs> off the bridge, and he's like, no! <laughs> I died. I died laughing. I was laughing so hard because in the distance, you just saw his little avatar falling down. Down. <laughs> That is awesome. I was rolling. I was like, dude, what the hell are you doing? And then he actually respawned right next to me, and then we, we went on playing. But that was that was one of the greatest um, moments in GTA that I've ever seen. <laughs> it was so funny. I love how they killed I... you after he's the one to use the bazooka, by the way. They, they, they took me out real quick. <laughs> Snipers and everything. I was like, holy shit. You're easy. <laughs> I had... For real. I had the... Or Kim was playing it on the PS3, and then I got the PS4. And then a year later, they're like GTA 5 on PS on PS4, and and she was looking at it, and that's the reason why she has her own PS4 because I was not going to share my system. Nice, damn. <laughs> uh, Get us selfish. But I tried to, I tried to play I tried to play it online with like a, a coworker, and I he was like always like. Come on, play PS or GTA 5. Come on, let's do it. And I have a gang. I need so I need people to join. And so I was like, okay. Well, I never even got past the tutorial on the online because <laughs> they wanted me to sit there and buy clothes, but at the same time they allow some like uh, you know person to go into the shop while I'm going through my menu trying to buy clothes for the mission. And shoot you and right in the head. Me. Yep. I'm that, like, I hated Come playing on. online. I hated that shit. It was one time I was playing, and uh, as soon as I spawned in, a literal jet flew <laughs> down and crashed right into me. I'm not even joking. I said, "What in the blue hell just happened? What the fuck was that?" And then, I, and, and then, and then I respawned again, and it was a glitch, and I was stuck inside a gate that I could not get out of. And a guy walked up to me, and he stared at me, pulled out a gun. And sat uh, there for 30 seconds and then shot me in the head. Uh, I was like, fuck this, I'm done. I'm not playing this game ever again. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, and, now, and, and to make it worse, now they have flying motorcycles that you can shoot rockets from and fly, wow. flying DeLorean and Wait. all this other crap. They're like, why would I, I want to mod, play this? Exactly. I don't think the mods are that. No, no, they're it's, legit. It's in they're the legit. game. It's oh in the game. Goodness. Why? Oh, yeah. This dude crashed a legit Boeing 747 into my face. What is happening? 
<laughs> well, I, I, I will say, I will say that I did get the blimp uh, download uh, when I first got the game because it was like a pre-order bonus, mm -hmm. and you could request the blimp wherever you're at, and they just drop it, or they, you know, they deliver it somewhere, yeah. and that and that was cool to do, but. It kind of killed it for me to go really high up into the sky like that because they need to see that California is just an island. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's funny. But no, I mean, yeah, the game was the game was really cool. I would kind of like to see other areas be done though. Is that like, coming to the PlayStation oh, Five? I'm sorry, Kim. Go ahead. Yes, yes, it is. I was just gonna say the best part of Grand Theft Auto Five was the story mode. Yes. Not the online, but the yes. story itself was the best. The story was 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 really good. I, I, to be to be transparent, I never beat the game. Um, I got stuck somewhere. I have no idea where the hell I'm at. I had to be like maybe 50, 60 hours into this damn thing. I, I'm like, when the hell is it gonna end? And I was I was I'm serious. I was driving around and I didn't have a mission pop up for like two hours. I was like, I don't even know what to do right now. So that was the last time I played it, and that was about three years ago. I never beat it either. Kim, she on the other hand, she uh, she I think has got top score on all of the missions. Well, damn girl. <laughs> the only thing that stopped her from platinuming the game was the online bullcrap. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a hundred percent, a hundred percent completion that I still didn't get because I haven't done all the special plane tricks that you're supposed to do. Because there's one of them where you have to drive sideways and drive between these two buildings, and I can't do that without crashing. Nice. And I was just like, well, to hell with it. After like 200, 300 attempts, I was like, nah. You go, girl. I can live without it. That's okay. <laughs> you got it. Luckily, and, and I didn't try to play it in that game. It's, it's I would the same do it thing with it. me in Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm, I'm over trying to get those dresses because there's a freaking glitch in the damn game. In my game, to where if I do a certain thing to get like the, um, the red dress of Ares, which I've already gotten. But if I do that one thing... It won't give me the right dress. It gives me the wrong dress if I make the if I if I make the right option, and it's pissing me off. So I'm I'm over trying to platinum that game because of that glitch. I'm still gonna eventually platinum, but I only got two trophies to get. Anyway, well, move but, I'm, hey, so, I'm sorry. I'm before sorry. Before we move on, go ahead. Um, the uh, GTA Five is coming to the PS Five, uh -huh. and um, but for those of us that pre-order and get it right away. It's supposed to be like a free um, upgrade or just a free download, um, but I guess it officially comes out next year. They need to talk about how downloading your saves from the PlayStation 4 to 5 and um, your games that you have online is going to work and if it's going to work. because they It said, should just be clown. I, I, I understand that, but it's a brand new system, so we'll see. Still uh, should be cloud safe. I, well, I hope it is. And in the last game, and uh, this week in gaming history, uh, came out nine years ago, 2011, again for the DS. And it is da -da -da -da, Kirby's Mass Attack. Kirby. This game was a hell of a lot of fun. I had so much fun with this damn game. I, I didn't beat it, but every time I picked it up and played it, I just had a blast with those little pink little blobs. Kirby games are fun, but yet at the same time, I don't think I've ever beaten a single Kirby game in my life. Really? Same. I've never really owned any Kirby games. Like, other than, like, ones that come free with something, I've never actually owned a Kirby game. Well, I think that well, we no, you need got... to do a Let's Play, no, a, an EX, EXP co-op for the NES Online, and beat the Kirby game yep. on there. That's what we should do. You should. And then uh, Kirby 3, um, Kirby All-Stars for the Super Nintendo is on there as well, and it's really fun. Yeah, I'll play a little level of that, I think. That was pretty fun. Kim, Kim, how about you, girl? Um, the only Kirby game I've ever really played was on the original Game Boy. Kirby Dreamland. Nice. Yeah, and I didn't even get very far in it. I just kind of dabbled in it a little bit. I gotcha. The thing about Kirby games, they're all... They're, they're not hard. I mean, they're actually just kind of fun. I don't think it's ever actually been a really hard Kirby game. Like, mm -hmm. both of the ones that I played, they seem like you can just get through it real fast. And I enjoy yeah. them. I just never played them all the way. The one that's on the Switch is insanely gorgeous. I was like, holy crap, is this a Kirby game? That looks like a freaking PS4 game. Um, oh, but, yeah. But it's it's, it's, like it. it's easy as hell. And But it's... I wish 
In fact, I'm not sure if it's online or not, but I, w I would love to play that game with four other people and just go through it and play it that way. That'd be fun. Uh, alrighty, that is that has been this week in gaming history. A lot of great games, obviously. This is a great week in history. Um, and we're going to move on to the final segment. Guess that game. Hit it, Jones. <laughs> hey, that's my boy, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> my boy Trey, rest in peace. That is his boy Gato. He used to sing that song all the damn time. <laughs> good memories, good memories. All right, uh, today we are going to bring back the quiz because I missed it. And my lovely wife actually came up with this idea because I was trying to think about a different way to do the quiz. And I'm going to give you guys a picture of an enemy from a Mario game because uh, all things Mario this week has, has been relevant in the news. So we're gonna, uh, it's basically going to be enemies that have only shown up in one Mario game ever. Okay? And I'm going to give you a list of the games. You have to pick the right game that the enemy is in. Okay. Everybody cool with that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to give you the, the name of the enemy, and then I'm going to give you the options for the games, and you pick the option. Okay? And I'm going to keep score right in front of me. Got a little pin right here. Clicky, clicky. All right, who is ready? Ready. <laughs> ready. <laughs> Kim, Kim, you ready? Sure. Uh, <laughs> don't be scared, girl. Uh, you have an equal chance of winning just like the boys do. I'm scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The first enemy. I'm going to show you guys the picture. And I'm going to name the thing. Is the Alarm Bob-omb. Was the Alarm bob in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga? Mario and Luigi Dream Team? Mario and Luigi Bowser Inside Story? Or Mario and Luigi Partners in Crime? So again, partners in, crime. partners in crime. Kim Kim? I'm only going to say that because I actually haven't played any of those Mario games. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> All right, there's a big fat zero on the board because the game was actually Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Ah. True, true, true story. <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, also, too, the uh, the person with the highest score at the end wins. So that's how we're going to do that. And if nobody scores, it's going to just be a tie. <laughs> uh, the next one is... Come on, don't freeze on me. There it goes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Bamboo. What the hell? <laughs> Black Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't be racist, Kevin. Don't be racist. Your options... <laughs> <laughs> Your options are Super Mario Maker 1, Super Mario Run, Mario Galaxy, or Mario Odyssey. Super Mario, Mario Gal Galaxy. Kim -Kim? Galaxy. Okay. And everybody gets a point. I knew that one as soon as I saw the picture. Yes. Which is I never played Galaxy, but I played all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> you played Mario Run? Mario Run's awesome. Yeah, it's on the, the mobile phone. Yeah, I know what it's on. Uh, I guess it's, it's better than oh, yeah, Mario Kart. Alright, they are going to definitely get harder from here on out. Uh, that's the one that I didn't change because I realized that the actual picture of the enemy from the game is too much of a hint. So He even has a gold grill. I know. <laughs> <laughs> or he just needs to brush his teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the, the rest of the uh, picks are gonna be like fan fan made art, so it won't be as easy to you know, catch. Uh, this next one is I hope this one comes through. Is Gus? Bam! Is Gus from uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, uh, Paper Mario Color Splash, Paper Mario Sticker Star, or Super Paper Mario? Sticker story or whatever the sticker one is. Kev? What was the first one? Uh, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I'm gonna do Thousand Year Door. Kim Kim? I'm gonna do the last one you said. Super Paper Mario? Yeah. Alright. And the answer is Super Paper Mario and Kim Woo! is in the lead. 
<laughs> All right, next. Damn it, I gotta stop doing it. Next one, we're on to number one, two, three, four. You guys might get this one too easy. In fact, I think Eric might get this one pretty easily. Let's let's see how well Mega Man works. Let's see if this pops up. Our right, next one is Amp. Is Amp in Super Mario Clash, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario 64, or Super Mario Sunshine? I'm gonna say it's Super, Super Mario, Mario Galaxy 2. Sunshine. Kim Kim? Oh, what were they again? Super Mario Clash, Mario Clash. Super Mario Galaxy 2, <laughs> Super Mario 64, and Super Mario Sunshine. I'm gonna go Sunshine. All right, the amp was featured solely in Super Mario 64. Nobody gets the point. I do not remember, remember him. I'm surprised you don't remember him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping you would get it, Kim, especially after playing I Mario 64 so that. much. Uh, I forgot what stage that guy is in, but I do remember him clearly, and I actually look forward to seeing him again in Mario 64. You've been the one that has like the underground area that's like gets poisoned sometimes. Uh, he was the one that, th th those are the guys that uh, shoot out the electric out their bodies, and if you touch them, you get electrocuted. Oh, uh, one of the water levels. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, next question. I mean, well, yeah, next question. Next enemy is, ooh, no, don't push that button. Bam, Crabber. Is Crabber from Mario Party 9, Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario 64 DS or New Super Mario Bros. 2. Can no I hear those games again? <laughs> <laughs> Mario Party 9, Super Mario 64 DS, Super Mario Galaxy, or New Super Mario Bros. 2. New Super Mario Bros. 2. Kim Kim? Um... Uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've seen this guy before somewhere, I just don't know where. Gotta pick one, girl. It's hard not seeing them in context. I understand. Super Mario 64 DS, Mario Party 9, New Super Mario Bros, Mario Galaxy. I said Galaxy already, so. Oh, you're you waiting said Galaxy for me. Come? I'm waiting for yeah. Kim. I'm waiting for Kim. Oh. Um. The, the third one. 64 2, I think. Okay. Or it's 64 for the DS. Gotcha. Uh, nope. It was actually Super Mario Galaxy. So Kevin gets a point and Kim and oh, Kevin. You bitch! <laughs> Kim, <laughs> Kim and Kevin are tied. <laughs> Next question. Here comes the growls. All right, next question. We're almost there, guys. Uh, bam, bam. The next one is Flipperous. Boom. Is what? Uh... Is Flipperous? <laughs> <laughs> is Flipperous a part? Uh, come from uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, Mario Kart 8, or Mario vs. Donkey Kong? I'm gonna go Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics. I have to because it's something only a damn Sonic team could come up with. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> damn thing was like a, uh, looks like a freaking ditto and something else had sex. It had a wall rest. The first one yeah. was, was New Super Mario Bros. U. Mm. Yeah, what the hell, I'll just say that. All right, and in the lead is Kim with oh. the correct answer, New Super Mario Bros. U. What? <laughs> she is in the lead, <laughs> folks. All right, next one. I think we have uh, four left. Yep, one, two, three, four. Yep, we got four left. This next one, I hate this name, but it is a... Splorch. <laughs> Bam! I've seen that thing. <laughs> Is the splurge from Super Mario Galaxy 1, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario 3D Land, or Super Mario 3D World? I'm gonna say Super Mario 3D World. 
Why you gotta be taking my answers, Kevin? Super Mario Kevin, 3D I World. I said it first, so it was <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Kevin. think Galaxy 2. All right, sorry, folks. A big fat zero on the board for everybody. It was actually Mario 3D Land. Oh, Mario looked like something I Land. fought before, but I did not see that thing. I guess. <laughs> This next one is my absolute favorite out of all the ones I've seen. And don't forget, these all these enemies were only featured in one Mario one game, game ever. Uh, this next one is my absolute favorite, and I really want to get a plushie of it. It is the Bombshell Koopa. That's just mean. The Bombshell Koopa. <laughs> because he's going to die? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> His shell's made out of a bomb. That's oh. not because he's going to die. Was the, bombshell, was the Bombshell Koopa featured in Wario Land? Mario is missing. Super Mario Land 2 or Super Mario Land 1. Wario Land. What, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Wario Land. Kim Kim? Only <laughs> Wario would do something bogus like that. You're actually all mistaken. You're actually featured in Super Mario Land. Yeah. But it wasn't even my second option. It had an all yeah, black shell. Even my third and option. As soon as you jumped on him, it, it made this weird explosion, exploding sound. You know, I do remember that, but at the same time, you know, that game definitely didn't have it looking like that. So yeah. <laughs> I will say that as I said, Mario Land, I was like thinking to myself, were there Koopas in Mario in Mario Land? <laughs> <laughs> Every day was weird in Mario Land. But you have Mario, 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 Mario. Marble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of weird, the next uh, next one on the list is called a Splounder. That's w special. Was the Splounder... <laughs> <laughs> These are legit enemies. What was the Splounder featured in Yoshi's Crafted World, Mario Plus Rabbits, uh, new, new Super Luigi U, or Mario 3D World? Mario Plus Mario Rabbits. Plus Rabbits. Right. That's it first! <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kim? Yeah, I'm saying the same thing. Oh, everybody's wrong again. I, I know it looks weird, I but... I going different. It was actually it's Yoshi, in... It's Yoshi, isn't it? Nope, it was Mario 3D World. Huh. These little guys uh. were in the water when you rolled... Um, I forgot the name of that giant lizard thing. Slishy, your, your girl. I remember you love that thing. It started with like an S or something. <laughs> so these, these little guys were in the water cheering, cheering you on. Um... <sighs> All right, and the very last question well, of Kim wins. the day. I'm content as long as Kevin don't win. <laughs> so I still funny. beat you. <laughs> Whatever. This is the last care. one. This is only Stop first place. Stop it. Uh, the next last one is the Electric Koopa. What? Was yeah, that, why is that thing kind of like Bowser <laughs> to begin with? Was the Electric Koopa, Koopa featured in Super Mario Maker 2, Mario Tennis Aces, Mario Sunshine, or... Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Captain Toad t Treasure Tracker. Captain Toad. What was the game before Captain Toad? Because I'm just about to be different just to be different. Mario Tennis A. <laughs> no, the other game is. Super Mario Maker 2. No, okay, what was the last game? <laughs> 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 It was Mario Sunshine. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, Mario Sunshine. Then. That's my answer. All right. And the final score is... Oh, well, it was uh, it was Mario Sunshine. The final score Yay! is... Eric got two, Kevin got two, and the winner of this week's quiz is our special guest, Kim Kim. Thank you very much, girl. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah you, didn't, you didn't even beat me, Kevin. That's all that matters. I'm it, was a tie. Yeah. it was a tie. <laughs> yeah, it was a tie between you and me, but you know, it, it, it only matters. The only winners, <laughs> winners count, losers lose. Oh, Lord. How about you guys say congratulations to Ken? I already said it. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Oh, I was hoping she'd win. I just, take, I just, wanted, I just wanted Eric to lose. Take I a just wanted you to lose. <laughs> all right. Oh, rap bastard. You guys are blowing out my levels here. It's all red over here. Eric be careful because he gets an ego. We have to just kind of keep his ego in check. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I don't get an ego. He, he knows this. He's known Eric. He's known Eric for years. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, ever since 1994. 
Anyway, with that being said, this has been a fantastically fun episode of Experience Points Podcast, episode 15. Uh, if you look guys like what you heard, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, Kim, tell them what to do, girl. Level up. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Eric, send us out send us out with some ending ending theme music. Oh god. Five seconds. Five seconds, damn it. I got hyped up. Peace out everybody. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. Battle line gets me hyped up. Obviously.